Guest on the VU Julia Roberts found herself reacting to a sexually suggestive statement made by Whoopi, who revealed something that had been absent from her relationships. Julia appeared on The View to talk about the release of her new film, Leave the World Behind, on Netflix. Julia was one of the panelists who discussed relationships and love at various points. This included the secret to happy marriages and the women's opinions about what makes a happy marriage. The 56-year-old actress revealed that her sister believes having two phone lines and sinks in the bathroom is the key to a happy marriage. The statement, marrying the right person is important, was also made by Julia. She continued, I believe that giving plenty of kisses to say hello and goodbye is a pretty important aspect of daily living. Everybody try it for a week. Every time you say good morning, hug and a kiss, every time you leave the house, Julia said. Although her spouse did it, Sunny Hostin acknowledged it, she has always questioned what's up with all the kissing. Julia remarked, well, maybe that's what the secret sauce is. Perhaps that has been my issue, Whoopi said. Over the years, she has been married and divorced multiple times. She made a brief kissing action and said, I just have amwa. I don't have a mimph. Whoopi continued while feigning a closer kiss. Just say moi. See you later. Goodbye. Return in a week. Hit and run. That's what I like to talk about. The crowd laughed and applauded as Whoopi stated. Wait, and I'm the bad one, Julia inquired. She said, I'm sorry, I have to go. They all smiled at her joke, and Whoopi congratulated her for appearing on the show. Whoopi berated The View's producers at the end of November, demanding that they let her finish her tirade. The panelists on the show talked about a few of the presidential contenders. They all expressed their opinions about who should be in the running. Whoopi and the crew were getting a little rambunctious, but Sonny Hostin also had a legal notice to read live on the show. Speaking about former President Donald Trump, Whoopi and Alyssa Farah Griffin's conversation at one point descended into yelling. Whoopi then went into overdrive with her tirade. I was the one that said to the table, this guy's gonna win, because I saw what people were doing, I saw how they were drinking them up, Trump told Whoopi Goldberg. Alyssa started to reply, but Whoopi went on. I know she's got a legal note, but I'm gonna finish my thing, okay? She was speaking off-screen to a producer when she interrupted her tirade. She became agitated during the conversation and spoke hastily to get her points across. Then, as Whoopi raised her voice and went on another tirade, the other panelists continued their discussion of the subject. Sunny was forced to wait for her note to be read. She remarked, I'm sorry, you have a note, to Sunny Hostin, who was about to introduce a legal note during the exchange. At last, the table turned, allowing Sunny to finally speak on her subject. Whoopi recently shared something on social media that seems to spook off a few of her admirers. Whoopi seemed to have gone too far with the recently popular talking cactus toy on the internet. Whoopi, 68, posted a video of herself talking with cacti on her Instagram account. The two talking cacti toys she had on her kitchen counter were designed to imitate any sound they detected. When it detects sound, it also wiggles and lights up. The toys mimicked the host of The View every time she spoke. Whoopi used the conversation as the punchline to her joke. This revolved around the comic being interrupted whenever she spoke by cacti that mimicked her. Whoopi, seeming serious, stated, I just made the biggest mistake of my life as the toy replicated. You see anything you say, they just do this. Then she gave the toy's instructions to say good night and hello. Subsequently, the celebrated actress engaged in conversation with the toys. Whoopi captioned her photo, asking, Whose idea was this? Whoopi's video was discussed by fans in the post's comment section. Many thought it was humorous, but others thought it was out of touch. A fan described it as creepy. Someone else said, that is so bizarro. Fans have been criticizing Whoopi recently for what appears to be unsettling behavior. Her nasty habit, 
which frequently rears its ugly head on the morning show, irritated fans. The View hosts had something to eat while they were on the show last Wednesday, thanks to bite-sized meals that Chef Carla Hall, presenter of The Chew, prepared. The View set was decked out for Thanksgiving, not to mention Carla had prepared several meals that were in line with the celebration. She made butternut squash erinsingi and grilled cheese sandwiches with kale pesto sauce, among other things, for the TV celebrities.